Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here and you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anand Nayar, your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you are fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating step by step installation of nix os on vmware workstation 14 pro now before we dive in the part B of this video in which I will be demonstrating how to install Nix OS, the latest version on VMware Workstation, let us first of all understand the some foundations theory of Nix OS. Nix OS started as a project by Aleko Dolstra in 2003. In 2015, the Nix OS foundation was started to help projects supporting the purely functional deployment model like Nix OS. Nix OS is a Linux distribution built on the top of Nix Package Manager. It uses declarative configuration and allows reliable system upgrades. Two main branches are offered, current stable release and unstable following latest development. Although Nix OS started as a research project, it is a fully functional and usable operating system. Nix OS is DevOps friendly and has tools dedicated to deployment tasks. If we talk of some more details of Nix OS, it is written in Nix expression language, it belongs to Unix family and it is under currently development stage. The initial release was done in 2003 about 15 years ago and the latest stable release is 17.09 which was released on September 29, 2017 4 months ago. So I will be using the latest version that is version 17.09 on filming this video. And if we talk of some uh, more details, it is for general purpose and it is available for both 32-bit as well as 64-bit platform and has kernel which is monolithic kernel. And the official website is called that is nixos.org which you can see on the screen. Now if we talk of some more features of NixOS, the first feature is the declarative system configuration model. In NixOS, the entire operating system, the kernel, application, system packages, configuration files and so on, it is built by the Nix package manager from a description in a functional build language. It means that building a new configuration cannot override previous configurations. Number second is reliable upgrades. Since the Nix files are pure and declarative, evaluating them will always produce the same result. Regardless of what packages or configuration files are on the system, thus upgrading a system is as reliable as reinstalling from the scratch, which is very good. Third is the atomic upgrades. Nix OS has transactional approach to configuration management, taking configuration changes such as upgrades atomic. This means that if the upgrade to a new configuration is interrupted, say that the power fail halfway, the system will still be inconsistent state it will either boot in the new or the old configuration. In other systems a machine might end up in an inconsistent state or might even not boot or crash. Fourth is rollback. If any other system upgrade the new configuration is undesirable or not stable the user has fully functional to roll back to back version release. Number five is reproducible system configurations. Nix OS declarative configuration model makes it easy to reproduce a system configuration or another machine. Copying the configuration file to the target machine and running the system update command generate the same system configuration that is kernel applications, system services and so on except for the parts of system not managed by the package manager such as user data.
Number six is source-based model with binaries. The Nix build language used by NixOS specifies how to build packages from source. This makes it easy to adapt the system to user needs. Number seven is consistency. The Nix package manager ensures the running system is consistent with logical specification of the system, meaning that it will be rebuilt all the packages that need to be rebuilt. Eighth is multi-user package management. There is no need to have special privileges to install software in NixOS in order to the system-wide profile. Each user has a dedicated profile in which they can install the packages. So which means that it is fully dynamic, fully declarative, fully reliable, DevOps friendly and fully dynamic. So this is the official website and you can see that uh, more details about the NixOS. You can click on download, support, packages, option, community, you can join community and even you can work on security. So if we click on get NixOS, you can work on this website. I have leaving the link to the description below and you can click on this link. So I've already downloaded this to my desktop. So I will not uh, be downloaded it again under this folder. So that is NixOS graphical that is 17.09 and it is about 819 MB of size. So you can see that everything is over available over here and even you can have the virtual box appliances, even you can work it on Amazon EC2. So everything it is fully flexible. So let's go to VMware workstation in which I will be demonstrating how to install the Nix OS step by step on VMware workstation 14 Pro. So let's click on create a new virtual machine and click on next. So I will take this option that is I will install the operating system later. So I click on next and I click on Linux but version let me tell you the version will be other Linux 3.x kernel 64 bit I think so preferably will be 64 bit because it is a 64 bit distribution so I take this option. So make it sure that you take this option otherwise it can lead to some unstable results after installation. So click on next and I take the name as Nix OS 2018. So uh, any uh, any name you can specify as per your choice. So click on next and I allocate at least 25 GB of hard disk. So 25 GB will be minimum. Uh, if you have more hard disk, you can allocate even 100 GB to it also. So I click on next and I click on customize hardware to increase some RAM configuration also. So I increase the RAM to 2048 and I click on processor and I click on number of cores to number two and click on new CD DVD and I click on use ISO image. I can click on browse. So next OS graphical 17.09 and I click on open and I click on close. So everything is being set out. So I click on finish. So you can see that the virtual machine is created successfully. So now let us power on this virtual machine without any hiccup. So let's click on power on this virtual machine and let's click on full screen. So now you can see that we have the uh, four or op five options over there. That is mem test, installer, debug, no mem test, copy to RAM or installer. So in order to install Nix OS, it is highly important for you to choose the first option that is the Nix OS installer. So let's press enter. So now you can see that it has done with a stage one and stage two booting and it will not give us any graphical desktop environment. It will be just giving a simple command mode environment that is a command user interface. And after that, we have to go for the command based setup for this. So let's wait for it to get booted. Okay, so now you can see that we are already in the, uh, you can say that is the command based interface. So let's first of all clear this and let's check the IP address of this machine. So you can see that it is over there that is 192.168.68.181. So let's try to ping Google by taking this command ping minus C3 that is www.google.com. So you can see that it is pinging properly and no problem in it. So now let us type this command that is fdisk space minus L in order to know the details of the disk. And now it is high time to format the disk. So give this command that is CF disk and go for this DOS based option. So you can see that there is a free space. So I just press enter and I give two gigabytes to the uh, first partition that is the primary partition. And we just go for the type that is known as Linux swap oblique Solaris. And for the free space, I just come again and I click on new and I allocate the entire GB for this and I press enter and I select primary and you can see that we can make it the partition as bootable. So now let us go and go for this right option so that we can go and type yes and you can see that the partition table has altered and now we can quit it. So everything has been done. So you can see that it has synced the disk. So now give the commands properly. So we can give the first command that is makeswap slash dev slash sda1. 
so it is setting up the swap space so now let us on the swap which means the command will swap on slash dev slash sda1 so swap will be on so now let us go for this that is mkfs dot ext4 space minus j space minus capital L that is nix os space slash dev slash sda2 so it is creating the journal it is done so now let us mount that is mount uh, label is equal to nix os slash mnt okay so it is mounted so now what we have to do is to just write the partition so let's go for this command that is nix os space uh, sorry uh, minus generate hyphen config so give these commands step by step and all the commands I will be giving on my Facebook page so minus is minus minus root slash mnt so it is done so now let us go for this uh, file that is nano slash mnt slash etc slash nix os slash configuration dot mix so now what we have to do is to just go to this uh, downstairs file that is the bootloader so bootloader slash grub over here so just check out this hashtag so that we can uh, able to boot it and now let's come downstairs with the networking that is host line so we just go for this and we just increase to that is nix os 18 so this is the version which you can do so now let's come downstairs and now what we have to do is to come downstairs at down, uh, the more downstairs so here we have the open ssh option i think so yes we have that so let's go to home and we just delete it so after that we just go downstairs and we just enable these uh, KD desktop as well as the x11 environment so let's go for this deletion okay so let's go for this KD also deletion and these two options and now let us control X yes and press enter so all the settings are properly being saved so now it is high time to install so now let us give this command that is nixos space uh, hyphen install so let's press enter it will start crawling some files from the internet and it will take some time to install so let's wait for it to start it can take some time so let's uh, minimize this so I click on unfinished installing so so that so now you can see that it has started downloading the files successfully so depending on your net connection speed this process can take up to two to three minutes so because lots of files are there we have to fetch all the files from the local mirrors or from the nearby mirrors depending on the country which you are living and uh, it will be downloading all these paths so let's wait for it to get completed so the files are still downloading let's wait now you can see that everything has been done and now it is building some paths so let's go with full screen so now everything is being set out so it has taken about two to three minutes to download everything and come to this uh, angle of this uh, installation of this video of NixOS 17.09 on VMware workstation So you can see that some packages are also being installed so creating symbolic links in a user environment I think so almost we are over just some time okay let's wait so the last component is running that is next slash store in which all the apps are there you can see all the apps are being crawled
so installation is not very typical if you follow steps commands and do it was step by step uh, you will be having no pain in installing and it is highly stable and I will be leaving all the commands which I have done in my Facebook page So now you can see that every file has been downloaded and now it has finished the installation and it is demanding to set up the root password. So let me set the password. So installation has finished successfully. So let's reboot the system and boot into NixOS. So after we reboot it will be greeted towards KDE Plasma 5 version. So yes you can see that it has installed successfully. So let's press enter. So it is mounting stage 1 and it is activating the scripts. So this means that our installation has done highly, highly successfully. And let me tell you that this, uh, the nickname for this version or the unique name for NixOS 17.09 is very cute name is called Hummingbird. So it is starting the X11 server. And let's wait for the KDE Plasma 5 to welcome our screen. A very beautiful KDE. Let's wait. It can take some time in the first beginning so you can see that it has come and now let us give the username of mine and let's give the password. Okay. Okay. So root username will be root and password will be my name that is I have given. So let's wait for the environment to come and the first thing which I will be setting up is to make you aware of the environment and then we will be setting up some VMware and then I will be setting up some packages how to install it from the internet I will be making you install some packages either one or two it will be done so KDE logo has been done so plasma made by KDE you can see over here So it has done, booted. A beautiful wallpaper I can say. Okay, so let's click over here. That is the application installer. So if we go for system settings, let's see what we have. So let's go for, that is, I think so, it can be display and monitor. So let's go over there. So let's browse downstairs and let's increase the resolution to my laptop resolution it could be this and let's apply so now you can see that it is okay and now we have the idle space for working so let's click and let's click on run command so you can see that the run command has also come so let's go and find terminal so that is console terminal and now let us uh, go for some uh, activation of VMware based tools so what we have to do First of all, let's log in with root. Yeah, log in. Okay, so let's type nano slash etc slash nix OS. Slash configuration dot nix. So let's go downstairs below SSH. Let's find SSH. Okay, so here we can just type one command that is services dot vmware guest dot enable is equal to true so with this command our vmware services will be enabled so let's uh, control x yes and press enter so now let us rebuild the switch that is that is nix os 
hyphen rebuild space switch it will reboot it will uh, re uh, compile the operating system so it will install all these uh, packages for uh, system configuration for VMware so after that we check the status so let's wait for it to complete it will not take much time just simple internet is required okay so it has started so let us resize it okay so that you can see okay working fine so it is building some path So it has created the symbolic links in the user environment, which means it is done successfully. Updating the grub2 menu and setting up the ETC. So it is done. So you can see that the following units are started, that is vmware.service. So we can just type this command, that is systemctl status vmware.service. So you can see that it is enabled and it is running beautifully. So let's check the IP address of this machine. So it is, let's try to ping Google. So it is pinging, it is fine. So now let me tell you how to install some packages via command on this Nix OS. So let's type this command that is Nix hyphen env space minus minus query space minus minus available and there is we have the package name. So let's take the basic package as Firefox. So it will crawl from the database and will give us that what number, what is the package, whether it is available or not, and if it is available, in which versions it is available. So let's uh, check Firefox, VLC, and GIMP, and after that we install these packages. And then I tell you how to add a user. So let's wait for it, because sometimes uh, it can take some uh, crawl because of the huge database of packages. So till then let's check what we have over here. So we have different applications that we have uh, in terms of system and uh, we have the My Computer, we have History and we have Leaf. So not very much packages are there so we can install the packages via these commands. Whatever you have, whether it is Office, Web Browser, Image Manipulation Software, you just have to name and it has it. So almost uh, tens of hundreds of lakhs of packages are available for any distribution. Let's wait. Uh, it will take some time because it is first time. Okay, let's uh, drag over here. So you can see that Firefox versions are available. Many various versions are available for Firefox. So let's query what is about the VLC. Let's see what version of VLC is available. So VLC version is available, so diff uh, one version is available, so let's try off GIMP. So these versions are available, so let us now try to install these three above packages. So we have to give a simple command that is nix hyphen env space minus minus install that is Firefox, VLC and GIMP. So as you know that there are different versions, so it will take the first version as a default version if we don't mention the version. So you can see that it is using the first one. So it is installing beautifully and after that we can uh, link over here and we can see whether they are available or not. So after that I will just uh, make you learn how to add a user into this operating system with the simple command that we have of user add. So it is fetching some uh, dependencies as well as the main package files. 
you can see everything going on beautifully let's wait for it to finish so it is right now downloading after that it will be installing So you can see that the packages have been downloaded and it are installed. So let's see whether they're installed or not properly. So let's click over here. Okay, so if we click on application, so you can see that multimedia, we have the VLC and if we go back and we go over internet, we have web browser that is Firefox and if we go back with graphics, we have the GNU GIMP editor. So this was all about about this and let me give you how to add a user. So let us go to terminal again. Okay. Okay. So who am I? Host name CDL. Okay. So you can see next uh, 64 bits. So let's add my name of the user and password okay so you can see that uh, user is created in this uh, operating system so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Nix OS 2018 that is version 17.09 on uh, VMware workstation so do give this video a like two thumbs up to comment and if you find any problem I will be leaving the detail of my email address in the description below and all the commands which I have uh, submitted in this operating system will be available to my Facebook page I will be also leaving the description of my Facebook link over there and uh, do like this video do comment and uh, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel that is Gyan with Ananaya and I will soon back with more videos like this thank you so much for watching